We all make mistakes. In fact, we all learn from our mistakes. But if you are someone preparing for IIT, JE or NEET and have your exams in a couple of weeks or in a couple of months, I don't want you to make any of those mistakes. Because some mistakes cost you nothing. But on the other hand, there are some mistakes which can literally ruin your entire life. So in this video, we are going to talk about those mistakes which can potentially ruin your two, three years of preparation, lakhs of rupees in coaching and can potentially harm your mental health forever. Because my friend, maybe your preparation is going really well and maybe you're expecting to crack the exam with a good score and study in a good college. But if you are committing these mistakes, everything will go in vain. And by the time you realize that you committed these mistakes, it will already be late and the time won't come back. So going forward, we have five different students from five different IITs who talk about two tips or two mistakes that they have committed during the last stage during the preparation. So listen to them very carefully because I don't want you to commit the same mistakes. So grab your lace. Let's go. Hey guys, my name is Dipanshu. You know me as Eclipse Nova. Thanks to Tharun for having me on his channel. So if I talk about my mistakes, one thing that I did a lot was that I didn't have micro strategy in the start of my preparation. Micro strategy is what happens when you begin the preparation, you think that you have two years or one year if you are a dropper. In that case, you are very calm and very laid back and you think that it's a lot of time. In this situation, what you need to do, what I did later, was that I didn't make a plan for one year. I made a plan for one week. And I used to stick to that plan. The other thing was to revision. So first, I was doing a lot of initial preparation. When I was doing revision, I was doing theory revising. With that, I was doing almost all the questions. So basically, I was doing the same questions first. I was doing it again. And that eats up a lot of time. Later, what I started doing, which I had to assess someone else, was that you don't have to do this. You have to do this, that you were making all the questions first. So obviously, there will be some questions that you will think, oh my god, this is a very good question. That question that you will not make one time, that question that you will think that there is a lot of potential in it, which you will get to learn something, which you will not learn in theory. You have to kill those questions. You have to kill those questions according to the questions level, star mark 1, star mark 2, or star mark 3. When you revise, you don't have to attempt all the questions, you just have to attempt all the questions in which you have to attempt the star mark. So two mistakes which I had committed in my J.E. time and if I didn't get them, then maybe I won't get J.E. selection. First was that I chose the study materials in which I solved 80% of the questions. Which means hardly 20% of the questions are just like I was learning something new. But during my drop year, I changed my strategy to my teachers. I changed the strategy to change the questions, the books, 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 and 50% of the questions that were not done, they taught me something new. Now, what I learned from the second learning J.E. was that I learned from my friends' mistakes. I saw that my friends generally do their mistakes during their preparation and they blame the other people which means they were shutting their doors for personal improvement because when you blame anything on others then you don't take your improvement So before going to the next person let me tell you two of the biggest mistakes that I have done during my last stage of the preparation The first one is about not giving enough mock tests See, during the last days of preparation I spent my time to learn new concepts instead of giving enough mock tests. Like I used to feel that I was not prepared enough to give a mock test and hence I was skipping them. But if you see it from a bigger perspective, I was just procrastinating on giving mock tests, right? So don't do this mistake. Give as many mock tests as possible during the last days and try to learn from the mistakes that you are making during the mock tests. You'd learn a lot of things like time management during the examination. Your speed and accuracy will increase and there are a lot of other benefits too. So give as many mock tests as possible. So before going to the second mistake, let me tell you something very important. See, if you have so many doubts in your mind, if you have so many questions in your mind during the last stage of preparation, and if you have no one to clarify those doubts, please don't worry. Because I'm here in front of you as an elder brother to clarify all your doubts. And I'll be more than happy to clarify all your doubts. So today at 9 p.m. we are having a class on an academy where I'll be answering all your doubts personally. So the class would be for 45 minutes straight and it is completely for free. And whoever has a doubt, they can come to the class and they can ask me doubts personally and can get on a one-on-one -on -one discussion with me. And the best part about the class is that I'm giving away this book to one lucky student who attends the class. So this book, Topper Study Hacks, learn from toppers today and become a topper tomorrow 
is a book from Disha Publications. And this book is actually game changing. It doesn't matter if you are studying for IIT, JE, NEET, if you are in class 11, class 12th, this book is going to be useful for all of you. Because this book has a lot of things like study techniques from toppers. It has things like how to be more efficient and how to be motivated at all the point of time. So attend the class tomorrow and don't miss a chance to win this book. And I'll also provide the link of this book in the description below if you want to directly buy it. Now, let's continue again. Okay, about the two biggest mistakes that I did during the last two months of my own JE preparation. The first one will be my messed up sleep schedule. Now see, JE takes place from 9 to 12 and from 2 to 5. And a lot of us, I'm pretty sure, is sleeping during the 9 to 12 period because we are staying up way too late studying. So if you are doing the same thing in the last months as well, if, if your brain is primed to that, you're not gonna perform very well in the first paper because, because your brain is not accustomed to functioning and using your cognitive skills in that period of time. Coming on to the second point, I'm gonna say something that is probably gonna resonate with a lot of you. I didn't want to do it all throughout the year, so I kept the inorganic for the last one month or so, and that was a really bad decision. So I could not complete my inorganic syllabus. I mean, really thank God not many questions came from those chapters that I left behind. Now see, I know inorganic is a pain in the ass, but do spread it out over a few more months and start studying because inorganic is really easy to score at. Hi, my name is Kritage and welcome to Tarun's channel. My two major mistakes I feel is number one, last ke ek do mahine mein never try to study ek naya topic. My probability was very weak, tha, but I knew that the probability of one or two questions will come. If I read it, I don't have much time waste. Hota, and still, the probability was very low that I could do the question right. So that's why I didn't study that topic. I was like, okay, now I'll leave one or two questions. Dunga. Second thing which is very under-talked is that in the last two months, the pressure of your two years is going to bottle up. Your emotions will be high honge, and you know, you'll have tension, you'll be scared. But you know, you still need to focus on the better things which are in your control. Mein hai. Ekdam zor laga ke padai kar lo. Revise karlo jo bhi tumhe aata hai and best though. Dimaag is your asset. Don't let it harm you or tumhara dhyan distract mat karne do usko. And all the best for your JE exam. So here we are back. We were talking about the second mistake that I've done during my JE preparation. So the second mistake is that I started wasting a lot of time during the end of the preparation. And this mistake actually haunts me till this date. I actually feel that I did not give my best during the end of the preparation. I, I think I might have burned out, but if you are someone who is during the last stage of their NEET preparation or IITJ preparation, please give your best. And this is your time. If you don't utilize this time properly, it'll waste your two, three years or four years or five years of preparation, the coaching, everything that you've had. So yeah, these were the 10 mistakes that if you avoid, you'd be able to score a lot more in your final examination. I hope this video was useful for you and uh, subscribe to the channel if you might have liked the video. And don't forget to attend today's class at 9pm because we are giving away this book too. So I'll see you at 8. Bye bye. Check, make it a microphone check, give it a microphone, I make them make it a microphone dead. Don't step to me, newbie, I can truly be moody. I could have played the fucking Grinch in the movies. I've been 